January 20th, 2018. This is going to be a short video. Uh, uh, this will be part two of the series on how to set up a Raspberry Pi uh, for data logging, temperature monitoring, remote controls, all that sort of stuff. Uh, I forgot to mention one other thing you're going to need uh, hardware-wise with Raspberry Pi. You'll need a micro SD card uh, reader. Uh, I recommend a USB style like this. I don't personally have the digital A star or whatever that is, um, but anything similar like this. Uh, and this is the micro SD card that you'll be plugging into it. And basically, what we'll be doing is writing a an operating system image to that to that card, which will act as the hard drive on board the Raspberry Pi. So let's just briefly take a quick look at the Raspberry Pi itself. One sec. <laughs> and uh, so the SD card will be on this end. Uh, on the other side of the board, uh, you place the metal contacts facing the PC board into the slot and plug it in. Um, that'll be after we write the image. And then you'll hook up a monitor to the HDMI output here. Uh, speakers, if you want audio. Um, to the speaker to the audio jack or whatever to an amplifier whatever you like and uh, there's four USB ports here you'll use two of those one for a mouse one for a keyboard um, and then this will be your power port right here so uh, so let's go into how to set this up the first thing you'll need to do is get the operating system image um, these are new images since I last downloaded I think uh, I did my last updated February of 2017 uh, and these are new revisions, but I'm sure that they'll work just fine. Uh, you can download via torrent or zip. Either one will work. And what you'll end up with is an image file uh, like this. Uh, this is a zip file right now, but you would extract that, and that would give you an image file. Let's go take a look at how that is. So you'd go to the directory you downloaded it to, probably your downloads directory, and you go after the image. Like this is my image. This is my backup image <coughs> um, that I took on 2/12/2017. Uh, obviously, this was set up for Raspberry Pi 3 with a static IP and uh, wireless LAN uh, and a new database. Uh, which is called farm. <laughs> uh, so you notice I use in my naming convention I kind of lay out what's in the image because you won't be able to see what's on the image unless you install it or write it to a card and put it on a pie and look at it. So it's always good to uh, to do um, good file naming conventions for this sort of thing. You'll pick your target device. Uh, I usually use drive D. I currently have this microphone plugged in where drive D would ordinarily be and I'm not actually going to write a card because I don't need to. But so you'll open a WinDisk32 imager. You grab your image, which would be the one that you would download from uh, raspberrypi.org, and uh, you'd go down here and you click write, and it'll write that image to that SD card. Uh, and I just want to say I'm not responsible if you pick the wrong drive and write it to your hard drive and overwrite your hard drive. So be very careful and actually make sure that you go to my computer and figure out which drive your SD card is actually on and make sure you get the right one because if you get the wrong one it could cost you a lot of aggravation and hassle and I hate to see that happen to you. Alright, so you write the image onto it. When that's done, this will tell you that the image write is complete. You'll close it, you'll exit out of it. You'll take the SD card out of the slot in the side of your USB adapter or whatever your SD card adapter is and you'll put that into the Pi as I showed you before on this end, on the other side, with the metal contacts facing the printed circuit board. Um, you plug that in. Uh, you already have your mouse and keyboard connected and your monitor and your audio if you want it. You don't have to. Um, and you'll plug your power in and you will immediately on your monitor you'll see the Pi start to boot up. Uh, at that point um, you'll have to pick it up on video too. <laughs> Anyway, so this is the basics. This gets you started for setting up the operating system on the Raspberry Pi so that we can set it up and do all the monitoring and remote control kind of stuff. 
I hope this video has been helpful. I hope you'll follow along in the series, and I hope if you haven't subscribed yet that you'll subscribe. Thanks for watching the Pharmacy Seeds Network.